Hey everyone, Joey again from Turning Point Boatworks, uh, back in the shop today uh, working on a mold uh, for the uh, Petroplay combing. Uh, if you can see behind me, I'm going to change the angle there, behind me is hole number one. Uh, that's just waiting for the deck. Uh, I actually have to put skeg box in before that and then uh, we'll, we'll have the hole ready. Uh, just a quick shout out to Christopher King. He's the, uh, the inspiration behind this video. Um, I think that uh, his uh, questions uh, kind of spark some inspiration. So I'm going to go through the process here of how the combing mold is made. Uh, and I can tell you this, there has been countless hours spent in perfecting this mold. Um, there are no tools to make this, so it's kind of one of those things you have to make the tools in order to make the mold. So. Uh, just uh, a fun little project, um, threw away a few things uh, along the way uh, because there really is no pattern uh, to make this from. Uh, it's just completely freehand and, and uh, it's all done to be functional uh, as well as aesthetic as, uh, in the same time. So, uh, going to do a little time lapse. The only thing I'm going to omit is the gel coat application because I really don't want my GoPro to get all covered up in, uh, in uh, gel coat. So. Uh, but while I'll go through the entire process of how this thing is done. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. All right, the uh, release system has been uh, applied. Uh, that's four coats of uh, sealer and then four coats of the release agent. Uh, which is followed by the tape test, and if the tape doesn't stick, then it's uh, then it's ready to go. Uh, special note about the release system I use here: it is a product called Free Coat. It's made by Loctite, and uh, it is extremely good. And I'm going to apologize now. This keeps going in and out of focus, and I think it's because of the uh, reflection off of the mold. Uh, the other thing too, before I start the uh, process of molding. Uh, Else's, but I find this works really well. It's all of the areas that are inside. There are no sharp corners. It's all radius, and that's to help the fiberglass uh, that's applied to make the mold uh, make the uh, the contour. Uh, it, it, there are no air pockets or anything trapped because that radius helps that, that fiberglass to uh, conform. Uh, the other thing too is, is there are no negative angles anywhere in this. So negative angle between this and this that it's not a an acute angle therefore it will slip out um, and that's really important when making a mold uh, the other thing too is as I did with this is there is a small small little radius and this is rounded over right here and that's to give me a nice clean trim line so if you had a kayak in the uh, edge of the combing just you know flat cut this is uh, a little bit different it actually will, will roll over uh, and hopefully we'll save a few spray skirts in the process uh, because it uh, will be less likely to cut uh, a spray skirt if it's impacted by anything a paddle or if you're doing a rescue or whatever so that's it um, it's going to be time to spray some gel coat here in just a minute I'm going to do the release and uh, we'll show you a part in just a second.
that is a combing mold. And it turned out pretty much perfect. So thanks again, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and maybe this answered a few questions about how your kayak is built. Um, make sure you uh, give us a thumbs up um, if this uh, this kind of stuff interests you. Um, that way I know that uh, you're, you you want to see some more. Uh, also, follow us at uh, Turning Point Boatworks on YouTube and Turning Point Boatworks on Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thanks again for everything. Uh, and again, also thank you, Christopher, uh, for the inspiration. Uh, so now you know how mold is made. Thanks.